Hello, and welcome to your virtual Wizard Academy. I'm Professor Davon from House Mopenene, and I'll be your wizard making wand master. Aside from here over here is Professor Teana, going to be my aide, and her prefect is from Pikake Pua'a. And together we'll be teaching you the, uh, the lore of wand making and how to make your own very wand. Now, let's get into some wand lore basics, shall we? All wands are unique with their own characteristics and properties. There are many woods in which one can use to make a wand. Today we will be using the branches from the enchanted elderwood tree. This tree is the easiest to form a wand with but is one of great quality. Wands contain magical cores, which are either magically inserted once the wand has been carved, or it is already imbued with magical characteristics. These cores enhance the wand's magical properties. Some popular cores here on our island are nene feathers, boar fur, shark teeth, stingray tail, turtle shell, and uni spikes. My wand core is made of stingray tail. What is your wand core made of? Now that we've got some basics in, let's get cracking and start making your own wand. Here are the materials that we'll be using today. Your parents already picked them up at your local wizard market. First, we will need one enchanted elderwood branch, a hot goblin gunk spout, toadstool stain, a paintbrush, and lastly, a magical attitude. Step 1. Plug in your goblin gunk spout and wait for it to become hot. Parents, if your child is below 8 years, we recommend you to supervise. Step 2. When the goblin gunk is ready, start to apply it onto the chopstick. Allow the gunk to drip to create bumps and create your own unique designs. Step 3. Let your gunk cool all the way before continuing. Step 4. Repeat the process to create texture and to give your wand some weight. Step 5. Using a paintbrush, take some toadstool stain of your choice and apply to your wand. Step 6. Allow your stain to dry completely. While waiting, do some stretches and clean up your paintbrush and any other mess you may have made. Once your wand has finished drying up, Make sure to keep it safe so that we can use it for our next lesson. Before you know it, you'll be casting your own magical spells. <laughs> 